Hey y'all! Hey y'all! Ooh! I did not give y'all any notice because I got surprised by two grandkids. I was here all by myself getting ready for y'all, finishing up prepping my cups and painting, and all of a sudden, I got two grandkids. <laughs> One of them that stays with me all the time had gone to her other grandma's, and I didn't know she'd be back this early, so I had to get everybody situated before I come on board, okay? I'm going to wait for a few people to come on here. Once we get 15, I get going. Y'all know I don't wait for a whole bunch. All I need is about 10 of you. When y'all come on board, somebody please send me a message. Let me know that you're here so that I can go ahead and get started. As we're waiting, I'm going to throw this up real quick. I apologize, like I said, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> we don't want no pink hair in our tumblers today. So I'm going to get this up. I'm going to be cute. Don't even laugh at my hairstyle. Y'all know I don't care. I'm in the kitchen. Working. All right, we got 36. There we are. Hey, Rachel. Rachel, Katie, y'all welcome. I know I got comments for now, y'all. We've had a time with Facebook, or I have. I was liking everybody's comments and responded in to messages and questions in the last couple tutorials. And let me tell you, they kicked me off twice. I was worried I wouldn't make it today. First time watching you, and I love your hair and your accent. Thank you, my dear. I'm so glad you're joining us, okay? I'm glad you're here. All right, so we're going to get going. I, like, I don't like to wait and waste your time, okay? Trina, hey, y'all. Yes, whoop, whoop, we're here. All right, what we're going to do today is beach tumblers. Everybody has a new take on beach tumblers. Um, I want you to do yours the way you really like to do it. I'm just going to explain some things to you, see if it helps you out, give you some little points and tips. Um, we're going to do one with real sand that I got from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I forget that everybody's not from around here. <laughs> Sorry, all but um, So I've got some sand with little pieces of seashells in it that I got from the beach. Hey, to, is it to kill and Don and, and Miss Lily and Jennifer's here? Hey, Miss Jennifer. All right, so we're going to do one with real sand. And we're going to do one with glitter. Now, the one we do with glitter, you pick out the glitter you like, okay? Y'all are going to hear so much noise in the background. I told you I've got two kids. Uh, one of them I wasn't expecting back real soon. My rabbit's having a fit back here in the corner, and my bird won't hush. So, yeah, I live in the country, and I got a lot of animals at my house. Hey, Nikki, Rachel, y'all welcome, Tammy. All right, so we're going to get going. I'm going to tell you what I'm using today. Um, then we'll talk about any questions you have. I'm pretty good about trying to read them. I am going to be working with an epoxy that's called a fast set, and I'll, I'll show you that here in a minute. So I have to work kind of quickly. So once I get into making the tumbler, sometimes I miss some of your questions, but please don't think I'm not going to answer you because after this is over, I'll go back and answer everything for you, okay? All right. Hey, Tabby. LaDonna. Woo -woo. We're in the kitchen, girl. We're in the kitchen. All right, y'all. Let's get going. I've got two 20-ounce Ozark tumblers. They came from Walmart, okay? You can order tumblers at all kinds of places, but these customers specifically asked for the 20-ounce tumbler, okay? Um, I have sanded these cups, and when I say sanded, I use a super rough sandpaper. I sand it all over, get it going. Um, sounds tropical. Love it. That's right. So I've sanded these really good. I have washed them off with Dawn soap. I let them dry. I made sure not to try and handle them too much unless I had the gloves on. Um, and then I base painted both of these with white. In case you're new to making tumblers or you haven't made your first tumbler, I want to tell you real quick, I want to touch on this. And I usually try to and I've forgotten to recently. But when you go to base paint, um, I learned a lot when I first started by accident and mistakes that I made. So I like to share those with everybody, okay? Hey, Sarah, Nikki. Um... Invest in the decent spray paint. I used to use that 96 cent paint from Walmart because I was like, mm -hmm, I'm fixing to get my, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out of this and not have to waste a lot of money, okay? But um, thank you, Betty. Um, Betty's thanking me on my house. We're closed on the house, y'all. I won't be making uh, tumblers in the kitchen anymore, but I promise we're still going to have fun. I will never forget where I started. <laughs> but we ain't going to be in the kitchen with the rabbit no more. <laughs> but anyway, let's go back to this. Invest in the decent paint. There's some paint out there. It's, I use Rust-Oleum 2X. It's a primer and a paint. 
it's a great, it's like $3.96 at Walmart. You can use any kind of paint, but that 96 cent paint, I'm just going to be honest with you, it's very watery. Um, it takes two or three coats of paint, okay? Um, it also runs a lot. You'll get a lot of runs and streaks in your paint, bubbles at the top. I don't know if y'all can hear this rabbit, but you would swear it was talking back. Um, I use just a, a better paint. You get coverage in one, one coverage, one spray, and you're good. So that's what I've used on these, okay? So we're going to talk about that. We're going to be using um, Countercultures Fast Set Epoxy. Um, I want you to use any type of epoxy. Thank you. Thank you, LaDonna. I'm so excited. Girl, I'm going to have me a she shed. And ain't nobody, Cheryl's she shed ain't burning down at my house. I'm gonna have me. A, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have she shed, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. Like God, sometimes when you look back on my life, and you're like, I don't deserve nothing, nothing. But I'm telling you, God is good. That's all I'm gonna say. But we're gonna use Countercultures Fast Set, okay? If you're a newbie, this stuff has like a working time of about 15 minutes in my house, okay? Somebody's asking me about the paint. Miss Tammy's asking if it was gloss or not. Y'all can use any kind you want. I want you to pick what you like. I personally use a flat. Sometimes I'll use a semi-gloss. It depends on if they're completely out. I might buy a gloss. You're going to get your gloss from your epoxy, but you use whatever you want to use and whatever you have the most success with, okay? All right, so Countercultures Fast Set, it does come in an A and B part, okay? I will tag the link at the top so you can order this. Just remember, if you're starting out new, this stuff you have to work really fast. So I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to mix epoxy for this cup because we have to do the sand and the alcohol ink. And then I'll mix again for the glitter cup. I'm fast, but I'm not that fast to be working on two cups with fast set. I just, I could, but I'm not going to. I want to be able to talk to y'all and explain some things, okay? So after the epoxy, of course, we're going to talk about some inks that we're going to use. I've got different inks here, guys. I have an actual Ranger ink. It's going to be a Tranquil. And this is actually a Pearl metallic it's got a ball in it and we're going to talk about metallic inks i do every time i use them because some people are new and have never been on here and i don't want y'all to miss something that's very important okay we're going to settle on that all right so we've got alcohol ink by brie reese this is a lake blue we're going to use that also okay i got rochelle janelle i got melissa and amanda I see some more names. I missed them. But if I go up there and touch that thing, it's either going to reverse my screen or something's going to happen. We're going to use a Pinata White or Blanco. You can mix your inks, guys. I prefer Pinata. I think they're a little bit more vibrant. I used to make my own, but with the kids, it was so messy because they knock the cups over and you get big stains in your carpet and it doesn't come out very well. So I quit making my own inks. But you can make your own inks, too. This is a Pinata Sapphire Blue. Now, you don't have to use this many colors. You can get away with this cup with the white and two or three shades of blue. But I just kind of typically use these on all, my, on all my cups. This is another Ranger alcohol ink, and this is a pool. So, we're going to go from, of course, sand. Set it down. I'll get it in a minute. To white. We got a delivery, and I know what it is. I'm so excited. You know what's crafting stuff. Um, sand, white. We'll do the pool. Probably that tranquil. Of course, the sapphire blue and the lake blue will go up higher. Sapphire is going to be your darkest color, okay? Elizabeth, I'm glad you're here. Is it Daria, Destiny, Kentucky, Brittany, Rochelle? I'm so glad y'all are joining me. Y'all, it's middle of the day. It's almost lunchtime. So we're going to try and get through these because, you know, I got to maintain <laughs> this big, Oh, I snorted. Maintain this figure and I got to eat on time. So anyway, here we go. We're going to get going. All right. So... I tickled myself, y'all. I am so sorry. All right, so we're going to get going with this, okay? First, we're going to get our epoxy mix. I want to make sure I haven't missed something. I done got myself excited and snorted on on, on this thing. Navia asks when you're done if you have a chance. She wants to see your bunny. You know what? I've had a lot of people ask me about that bunny. So, y'all listen. I'm going to show you real quick because there's a bunch of people who have asked me about my bunny. So, I am going to pick you up real gently and I'm going to show you the rabbit because y'all know it's in my kitchen. It's right here beside me. I'm not lying to you. So, y'all overlook my kitchen now, okay? Overlook my kitchen. Here we go. I'm going to show y'all. 
Y'all going on a roller coaster ride with me? I got this thing plugged in on charge. All right. Don't look at my. Don't look at my kitchen. Don't look at my kitchen. So I hope y'all can see her. Let's see if we can. Let me turn the camera around. I'm gonna turn y'all back around so I can see what the world y'all are looking at. So there is my big bunny. Tell them, honey bun. Down in the kitchen. She gets mad and gets up on her box, guys, and gets gets angry at me and starts throwing her ball around. But that's my baby. She got all kinds of stuff on top of her cage. All right, I'm going to bring y'all. <laughs> all right, that's enough of that. I'm going to bring y'all back, okay? Let me get you hooked up to my stand here so I don't lose you guys. All right? All right, so we're done looking at the rabbit. <laughs> but, yeah, I did snort on uh, on here. I get tickled sometimes, guys. So we're going to get to mixing, okay? I think some people, they would text me and say, um, I want to see your rabbit. And I was like, I'll, I'll let y'all see the rabbit one day, but I didn't want to distract from tumblers. But at the same time, I think they thought I was telling a story about having a rabbit in my kitchen. Y'all, I'm from South Carolina, and I live in Pickens. So I've got, I have got some animals. I got four dogs, a rabbit, a bird, about 20 fish, a cat, and almost every one of them was a stray. Except the one I got from my son and daughter-in-law. <laughs> but And he's the million dollar dog, y'all. I'll tell you my story about that dog in a minute. Y'all will like this story. So I have mixed. I got part A and part B with epoxy. Listen, um, you have got to make these measurements exact. Don't eyeball it. Don't guess it. Use your measurements on your cup. If you have a little bit more A and less of B and you mix them together, your cup will be sticky in a couple, after your five, six, seven hour curing time, okay? And when I say curing, it's truly not cured for 24 hours, but your dry time. So if you're sticky at 12 hours, you probably didn't mix correctly. I don't know if anybody's having that problem, okay? But I just wanted to let y'all know that your measurements were probably off. So I'm gonna put this in a larger cup. I just like to have a larger cup to stir in. You do it however you feel is best, okay? We're going to mix it up real quick. And while I'm talking, I want to make sure I don't spill this on myself. And then I'll come back to the camera and see what we got going on. And then we're going to get started on this cup, okay? I feel like I haven't done something, y'all. I'm having too much fun. Crafting is supposed to be fun, guys. You got to explore. Use your imagination. Have a ball with this stuff, okay? Sue Ellen, Melissa, Elizabeth. Hey, I saw Bridget, my twin. All right. So I'm just going to... Mix this stuff up real quick. <laughs> you probably hear the baby back here. I got a one-year-old. And Miss Mel Miss Bella brought brought herself back. I guess she was ready to come on to the house. Yeah, I had to come back because she's on the South Carolina. Okay. Alright, she had to come back because the other grandma was leaving town. So anyway, we got this mixed up. Okay, let's see what y'all are saying. Hello from Colorado. Hey, is it? Shanid, I hope I'm saying that right. Rita, Shauna, Karen, there's my girl. There's my Bridget, my sister twin with the same name. Y'all, I mix epoxy fast, okay? If you haven't seen me before, you're going to hear a lot of stories about epoxy. Wooden sticks cause more bubbles. Silicone stirs are better. Um, I have a metal stir that has the silicone tip on it. I forgot to clean it. Everybody stirs with something different. The only way you're going to get super minimal bubbles is honestly to stir extremely slow. They've got stirrers out there that are automatic. You put a little bowl in it and it stirs it for you. Um, you can, after you mix this, put it in a warm bath of water and let it float. It kind of helps with some of the bubbles too, okay? Um, but I'm just, I stir mine fast. I'm going to pop the bubbles on the cup, okay? And once it this counterculture is amazing. I don't know what it is about it, but the bubbles kind of rise to the surface of the cup and they pop on their own, okay? You'll have a few that you'll have to pop, the micro bubbles you'll have to pop, but if you give it just a minute, they all rise to the top. You hit it with your heat gun or your torch, whatever. I've got something floating in here. Oh, it's a bubble. Got a bubble. Um, they'll all rise to the top. I just want to make sure it wasn't a bug and then we had a bug in our ocean, okay? Hello, Miss Gabrielle. Madonna, I have all those stirs, but I forget to wipe them off. I, that's what I got. I got two stuck to my table in here. <laughs> Not doing me much good when they're stuck to the table from last night. And somebody asked me if I reuse my medicine cups. Yes, ma'am. You can wipe them out with a baby wipe while they're still sticky, like wet. 
Don't let them harden because it won't work, of course. But if you use uh, baby wipes that get those medicine cups clean. I threw these away during the tutorials, which I probably shouldn't. But I want to make sure that I'm getting to all your questions. And I don't want to sit here and try and wipe out my medicine cups while y'all are waiting on me, okay? So I'm going to put my one little glove on, see what we got going on here. How's the smell with this epoxy, y'all? I've talked about counterculture. There's a few, I use many. I've got KS resin here, amazing clear cast, um, art resin. I finally got in. That's what's in my box over there. I've got a little extra. Let me turn around and grab this one. This is a super amazing epoxy. It's super, super, super clear. Um, they'll call that ALE. Sometimes you'll see it abbrevi abbreviated. Okay. Um, Miss Debbie, we're making a beach tumbler. This fast set epoxy. Y'all know I don't have but like one and a half lungs. But it has no, it smells like peanut butter. And somebody said it don't smell nothing like peanut butter. But it doesn't bother me at all. Like I could sit here and smell. It's no headache type of smell to it. Okay. There's no strong odor. It doesn't affect the kids. Nobody's ever said anything. Even my husband's funny about me being in the kitchen. But the things that I work with, the only thing that I have found that bothers me that I have tried. Mason Clearcast is a little bit stout. Doesn't make me sick or I don't have any reaction or get headaches. But acetone whew, is a whole other story. So we're going to start putting this on here, okay? Let's see what we got. Miss Patrice and Shauna. We talked about that. And Teque is it Tequil? Welcome from Texas. Now listen, guys. For the sand end or your glitter end, you kind of want minimal epoxy. Keep that in mind. Anytime you're working with glitter or sand, minimal epoxy, lots of glitter. If you do minimal epoxy, which is a very super thin layer, okay, you're going to use a lot of glitter and you want your glitter or your sand to appear dry, just like it's coming out of the bottle or your shaker, whatever you're using. So I use a small layer? I'm trying to read these, but they are popping up fast, y'all. We got Denise and Doris. On this end, it may be a little thicker. Now, somebody's going to say, how in the world are you going to measure what you're going to put on what side of that cup? You can feel it with your finger when you go to rubbing this in. For alcohol inks, I like to use a little bit more epoxy just because I don't want to get those, I call them dry fish eyes, where your epoxy repels the alcohol inks and then you get this big circle. Now, if I was working with glitter and doing a galaxy cup, something like that, I wouldn't worry about them because I can cover it with the glitter, okay? Hey, from Florida. Hey, Erica. Hey, Sherry. So I'm rubbing the bottom. Y'all know I'm funny about my bottoms. You got to rub the bottom. Love on it, love on it, love on it. Make it pretty because your custom. Some people tape the top and the bottom of your cups. I started out doing that. Honestly, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I didn't have a clue how in the world you're supposed to get glitter on the bottom of that cup. But over time, I just started playing and practicing, okay? Yes, girl. Cortisone and Benadryl. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Oh, Lord. I was... Y'all, let me tell you this story. I was talking to my husband. And we've we've had... You know, we recently became um, grandparent parents, if that makes any sense. So, and I am not... I am not a person that is a drinker. I just... I'm not. Maybe once a year, I'll have a glass of wine or a shot of moonshine on a holiday or something. But... I have no tolerance, but the other night, I don't know what happened. I had six kids here, y'all, and I was trying to do a tutorial. You may have seen it, and I I don't know what happened. I had to have me a glass of wine, and it, that's about all I remember. It was one half of a glass of wine, and then I was in the bed, but I probably needed it. So, y'all, look, I've still got a ton of epoxy. I mixed a ton of epoxy. This is covered perfectly. I'm just looking at it to make sure I didn't miss that little streak at the top or the little streak at the bottom. Because wherever you have a dry spot on your cup, you're not going to have any sand or glitter. And you're also, your inks aren't going to stick correctly. It's going to get super dry and you're going to be really disappointed. Okay? So make sure it covers really good. All the bubbles are kind of coming to the surface. I don't know if you can see them. i got a big patch here. They're all just coming to the surface, guys. Okay? Um, Miss LaDonna saying an amazing clear cast she can't use or be around at all. K resin, if I get it on my skin, bothers her too. Everybody, you might find reactions to some of these. I've been fortunate. I have lupus, but I've been fortunate and haven't had a reaction except when I've touched my eye one day. So find what works best for you, okay? I tell you about it. Go get Miss Bella. Okay. 
He's telling me a story, y'all. Y'all hear him? I'm going to bump this with some heat. Pop some of these bubbles. And then we're going to get going. Alcohol inks, your bubbles will matter. I don't know if you can see this, but they're all just coming to the surface. They, it's like they're drawn to the heat, which is great. But once they're popped, it's it's just amazing. I've, I'm in love with some... Um, you may get some dry spots, and I see some coming up. Yes, I'm touching it with a plain finger. I didn't want to put on another glove right quick. But you can bump those real quick. And I may have to pour a little bit more on, because when you add that heat, it sometimes just makes the epoxy smooth out in places and sometimes it'll just go away on you i've got some at the bottom that's why i always like to look y'all if i left it alone and went ahead and started and thought it'd be fine it's not gonna be fine i promise okay who's being angry my one-year-old is telling me a story y'all <laughs> my one-year-old somebody was asking if you have to have epoxy to use alcohol inks if you're doing a wood grain tumbler um i did a watermelon tumbler if you're doing something like that, no ma'am, you can use alcohol inks just on flat white paint or or whatever color paint you might want to use, okay? Um, but for this type of look that we're getting ready to do, I have not tried it without epoxy. No ma'am. What is, that is what I used to, never heard of anyone else using it. Okay, I might have missed something on that one. I'm a superwoman. Do these tutorials have the kids in a quiet place? <laughs> well, every once in a while, I appreciate that. But you'll hear me turn around. The last time I did the tutorial and had the one-year-old by myself, he went swimming in the dog water right behind me. So it was quite an interesting day. When I got done, I had about an hour's worth of cleaning up to do. Because he brought all the stuffed animals in the living room into the kitchen to go swimming. So it was interesting, guys. I just do the best we can and try and have fun, okay? when I was tired about using epoxy. Yes, ma'am. Usually, if you try to use alcohol inks um, on anything, unless you're doing a wood grain or something like that, you're not going to have much success, okay? I'm a grandparent to a three-year-old, too. We have 15 grandchildren between me and my husband. 15. And I'll be 51 next month. Um, but we have one that stays with us right now. I'm going to make sure this is done spinning a little bit. got a little bit warm. But this is my sand, y'all. We're going to do the sand cup first. I keep it in water bottles because when I go to the beach, I pick up gallons of it. I'll be digging out there in the, in the, on the beach and putting it in gallon jugs. And I'll bring five or six back with me to the hotel room. And I know if the Secret Service or the Coast Guard saw me, they would swear I was getting something. Grandma. What? Well, hold on just a second, guys. Bella, move away from him and sit down in the chair. No. All right. We've got a dog that's going to have to have some um, disobe uh, some obedience training um, or something. Because I don't know if I can do it much more with this little doggy. Y'all. And I got patience of Job, but sometimes. Now, I'm picking a spot on this cup that I kind of want my sand to go to. I always start up higher because I like to draw my line where I'm going to stop. Because when I'm talking, sometimes I get distracted. And I forget where my line's going to be. So I always draw my top line with my sand so that I can work from the top to the bottom. You do not have to do that. Okay? You do what works best for you. I use a Dremel. There are silicone thingies that slide over. Keep it clean. Sorry, I'm not sure of the name. All right. So I know y'all got some conversations going on. I'm so thankful that Miss LaDonna's here to help me. Because sometimes it is a little hard. And I apologize for distractions, guys. Some people are so much more organized on these tutorials. And they got their stuff together. I just want to come on here and help y'all. Have a good time. Do a few cups. And of course, my grandkids are, are a given. They are going to be here. They're never a distraction to me. But I know they can be distracting. So I do apologize. Okay? Let's see. Well, we got a lot of people with babies. There we go. I just, I, my boys are 26 and 27, going on 27 and 28. Y'all, I didn't, I thought I was done. When I when they hit puberty, I was like, I ain't going to make it. I'm taking them back to Jesus because I'm done. But then they turned out to be amazing young men. They're fathers now, husbands, and I couldn't be prouder. But I'm telling y'all, there was a time I didn't know if I was going to let them live or not. I'm just saying. Now, I'm going to show y'all something. I'm just getting started on the sand. Now, remember when I told you, and you can see it. I'm going to show you where it comes. Right here. This whole rim has no epoxy on it. Right here is two spots. Can you see those? So, there's only two things that I can do. I can put just a tad more epoxy in those spots. 
And I do have a tad, but listen, this is getting warm already. So I'm going to have to start working a little faster. But if you can catch this stuff wet, you can fill in these little spots just a little bit. Or you go back later and you do a second coat. Okay? Doesn't matter. You can do it either way. But I'm hoping to knock this out in one little loop here. So what I'm doing is just dropping a little bit of epoxy in those spots. Okay? Alright, don't ever apologize for your grandbabies. Thank you, Miss Crystal. So I'm going to keep shaking, okay? I want this sand to look dry. That's my goal. If it looks wet, it's going to look wet forever. Because you didn't have enough sand on it. It's the same with glitter. If you ever done a glitter cup, and you look back, and everything looks good but one little patch. It's probably because you don't have enough glitter on it, okay? If you see those white shiny spots, that's what it is. This cup's probably going to have to have a second layer because that's not working what I just did. Wow. And that's okay, guys. You know, sometimes you just have to do a second layer. It's no big deal, no harm, no foul. Don't get upset or discouraged. It just happens. Sometimes I get lucky and get it on the first go-round, okay? All right. So we have got this pretty much covered. And, of course, I have caught the sand with a piece of paper underneath my cup so nothing goes to waste. In case nobody told you that and you're just getting started out, y'all put something down below to catch your sand or your glitter because I won't tell you the number of ounces, probably pounds, that at one time I wasted because I didn't know you were supposed to be catching it, guys. I had no clue. So I'm going to pick this all up. I'm going to move this paper and I'll put it back in my bottle later so y'all don't have to sit here and see me struggle. But I am going to show you how I do the bottom. You can do the bottom any way you want. Used to, I would do all my stuff by hand, not have it on the turner, and then I would just dip it, <laughs> just put my cup down in it, because I didn't know I didn't know how to do it. And then I found a way that worked for me. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to work for you, okay? So you do what works for you. I fold my paper up like this. I put it to the bottom. I do some slight shaking, and it covers the bottom beautifully, guys. Now, you will have another piece of paper with some sand on it. It's no harm, no foul. You're going to anyway, no matter how you really try to put it on. So, my goal is just to catch as much as I can, get my bottom done. You want your bottom to be as pretty as the rest of your cup. Because some people don't drink out of straws. Okay? So, that's done. I'm going to get rid of this top layer of paper. Because it's got epoxy on it. It's the only reason I'm getting rid of it. Okay? Alright, let's see what else we got going on up here. I dip my cups to get the bottom. I'm telling you, you got to figure out something that works for you. Uh, yeah, everybody's going to be different. I'm going to move this sand so we can get on with the program before my stuff gets too, too messed up, okay? I've got all my, I call them my ingredients, but I got them right here in front of me. So I'm having a little hard time getting my paper out. Normally I don't because I don't have that stuff in front of me. But I'm going to move this to the back of the table and I'll deal with that later, okay? I just don't want you to think... What is she doing with her sand? So I'm going to stick this under here. Because that will be for our glitter. Now we're going to get started. We're going to start dropping some ink. Okay? Here comes the fun part. Um, it is just sand. Um, I did do something a little to it. There's some crystal diamond um, glitter at Walmart. Or you can take anything that you've got. I've got some real pretty starlight glitter. This was from Counterculture. I got some pretty stuff from a place called um, Geisha geisha glimmer the other day this bag's empty but you can kind of see what it looks like take you just a teaspoon or a tablespoon and mix it in with a big bottle of sand and it does give you a little shimmer but I also got seashell pieces in there if you can see that okay i do mix a little bit of some people mix gold in it um when they ask me for sand they typically don't mind this but I am going to do this one with a gold chunky. You can use gold chunky, gold fine. You can make your own little mixes with some of your glitters that you get. Y'all make it look how you want it to. Okay? I just try to stick to kind of what they're wanting me to do. But um, I had to doctor that up a little bit just to give it some kind of sparkle. Now I'm all, I want to heat my cup. Not get it hot. But I want to heat it because your alcohol ink seem to run better. Okay? And when I say run, it just gives you better coverage. That's all I'm going to do. I'm put this back down. I'm going to start with my sapphire blue. I always start with my darker colors, which is from Walmart. Gabrielle is asking. It's called Crystal Diamond. I don't think I have... 
I don't think I have one right here handy. I will look real quick. I do. Look. So this is Crystal Diamond. Came from Walmart. It's just a snow white, but it's got some iridescent colors. I'm trying to get it in the light a little bit. And I just mix a little bit of that with my sand. Okay? And then I've got some, you know, more expensive glitters. But I just wanted a little bit of color to that. Okay? All right. Hold on just a second. I got my son text or calling me, so I'm sending him a message. All right. So I'm going to put my alcohol inks on here. And I'm going to go about a third of the way down the cup. Okay? Because remember, you want your... Um, you can do a glitter beach cup. I've seen a few in the group. Oh, that's LaDonna talking. I think some people were asking questions. So I'm going to keep dropping ink. I want this top part to be kind of dark. Okay. So I got my blue on there. Then I'm going to go to my next darkest color, which is going to be this Lake Blue by Bria Reese. Okay. This is the one that exploded on me the other day, so I have to be very careful. We're going to go down and do a few drops here. I'm also going to drop maybe one or two drops in the gaps right here. The reason being, you don't want all everything to be one distinct color. You know, the water has different shades to it, okay? So that's all I'm going to do. It's going to look like a big Dalmatian, but you got to understand um, it's going to run together once we add the heat to it, okay? All right, now we're going to go for some pool, and this is a Ranger alcohol ink, okay? All right, I'm looking. The Donna, you were the bomb, girl. Nobody's told you today, I'm telling you. You are helping me out so much by helping with these questions, because you know I'm horrible when it comes to looking at the thing and working on the cup. All right, guys, that's about all I'm going to do with the pool. Just gives me another little shade here. Actually, I lied. I'm going to put a little bit more right here. You want to leave this last gap for your white, okay? So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to add a little something, something that I just dropped on the floor, but watch this. We're going to be creative. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to tell you what I'm doing, but everybody knows already. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Miss Vicky. I'm going to shake this up, y'all, okay? There is epoxy on my cup, okay? There is epoxy. If you miss any of this tutorial as I'm adding this this is a pearl guy guys if you can see you'll see the shimmer go through these colors just adds a little pretty pretty something something to it I love the, the anything that's pearl the only thing about the pearls you have to be very careful they are a metallic yeah. metallics don't like a lot of heat if you hit it with too much heat it can blister your cup okay but I like that shimmer when you get it warm oh my goodness y'all it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to hit it with some heat. Okay? If I can get my stuff unwrapped from my walk, my walker here. Now remember, metallic doesn't like a lot of heat. So you want to kind of keep it moving. I do heat up the first third of my cup first. And once I get a good spin, then I start moving down the cup. Okay? You do it however works best for you. Just don't let it get too hot. If this one happens to get too hot, which I kind of hope it does so I can show you a few things about that. If you've ever had a cup that the colors just began to look muddy, you probably got it too hot. And this may do that. Sometimes it'll, it takes forever to start turning and then when it starts turning, you really got to pull away, okay? So that's starting to blend nicely. I'm going to move down the cup just a little bit, okay? It's still going to spin because it's still warm. But remember, fast set sets up very quickly. So if I don't work fast, this is going to get hard before I can ever get the colors blended in together. Okay? You'll start to see the pearl make some metallic look to the cup, some shimmer to the cup. If you don't get things covered quite the way you want to, you can angle your heat gun and get it moved around. Right now, the rim of my cup has not enough color for me. I'm missing some gaps in here. So before this sets up too quickly, I may go back and put a couple more drops on this cup. Okay? So far, I've been lucky. I don't see anything really that's running too fast to look muddy. Got it a little bit warm here. I'm going to drop some drops on the rim of this cup because I got a lot of white. Okay? So that will start to blend in. You'll see it start wrapping around the cup because it's warm. I'm going to add a little bit more color to this big gap of white, but not much. And I want to use a lighter color, okay? 
I'm sorry, I think you answered my question, but I didn't hear you because my husband spoke. <laughs> I, girl, I, I feel you. I feel you. They don't understand. We ask for just a minute of time a day. Just let me do let me do my thing. He's a diesel mechanic and a car mechanic, and he does auto body work. He does he's like a plethora of jobs. But I said, look, I don't go out there and mess with you when you're working on cars. Leave me alone. Don't come in here and criticize my cars. <laughs> We're going to have a problem today. <laughs> and when the ponytail does that, you know we got a problem. All right, guys. We're going to put a little bit of white. Don't get it on your sand. You want to get it right above your sand. Okay? We're going to drop a drop every couple. Oh, I got a little bit in there. That'll be all right because we gonna, it's going to look like foam, we hope. Then I'm going to go up a line. You want to have about two rows of white ink. That sounds kind of crazy. But think about the glitter cups you've seen, and I've seen some gorgeous ones. Y'all, Childs and Childs was on here last night, and I caught some of them before I fell asleep on the couch. And they did all theirs with glitter, and it was beautiful. So if you see other tutorials going on, y'all look at them. Hit them up, because everybody has some great ideas, okay? All right, so I'm going to heat this up. you got to be really careful. My fast set is actually getting really, really set at this point. It goes through a reaction, a chemical reaction when you mix part A and B. And right now, it, it has a smell but it's not a worrisome smell, but you can smell the change in the epoxy. I don't know if that's going to make sense to y'all, but you just can. Um, doesn't make me sick or nauseated. Doesn't give me a headache. None of that. What I'm doing is trying to blow some of that white up to make kind of like the wave foam. Okay? I'm a, I saw a drop that I missed. But this stuff is getting really set, guys. Now, let me tell you something else I didn't do. And I don't know if it's too late. I'm going to check my epoxy real quick. And it is. We were talking about fast set. How fast it sets up. So, I'm going to show you something. This is my epoxy. Let me see if I can get it out. That was in my cup 15 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. See how sticky it is? Very sticky. This is already hardened so that's how fast this stuff sets up so you see my working time is pretty much shot on this cup luckily i got through it but normally if i had a little bit of epoxy or you're working with regular epoxy okay i would take three or four drops of white ink i could do it to this but i don't want to mess it up because typically i take three or four drops mix it in about five c five cc's or five milliliters of epoxy and then I'll take a popsicle stick, and I can't do it now. This is set up, this is too hard. If I was to put, mix a little more and drop it on here, it's just going to leave lines because it's not where I can warm it anymore, okay? But you'll drizzle that in just a couple spots. It gives you a foam look, okay? And I'm going to see if I did it on this one. I'm going to show you something on this cup. So these little white lines that you see, my phone doesn't look good on this, and you got a lot of glare. But the little white lines you see in here is where I did the white alcohol ink and the drizzle. Just kind of gives you some texture to the water, makes it look a little different, okay? So do think about doing that um, on your cup. Make sure if you're not using Fast Set, you usually have a lot more time. But this cup is froze. It's done. It's not spinning anymore. It's still not hot. Um, I'm getting some warmth off the cup, but that's where the epoxy is, is doing its thing, okay? I've never used Crystallac. I would like to. Um, missed you mentioning what kind of epoxy. Counterculture Fast Set, and it sets up very fast. They do have something called Medium Viscosity out there that works really, really great, too. It's the five to seven hour epoxy, so if I was doing eight or ten of these right now, I definitely would use the regular medium viscosity or a different brand just because you have so many. It's Crystallac. We're pretty good. Going to work. Bye, Ashley. Be safe. Be safe. Um, I got the sand from the beach. The Dollar Tree sells sand. Doesn't have the seashells in it, but you mix just a tiny bit of glitter in there and you're good to go. Okay? All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do this one with glitter. I'm going to have to move the camera. So I'm going to be off, off film for a little bit. I do want to show you a few things what I was talking about real quick. Or actually, one thing. It's going to come around right here. It's kind of small. See these little tiny pops? They almost look like a little fish eye. It's where the epoxy didn't get in there, but the alcohol ink did. If you see those guys, don't worry about it. Okay? Um, 
it it's going to be okay once you apply your next layer it'll cover it okay now as far as applying the second layer i can do the second layer with the fast set in about an hour um, but you want to do it kind of thin because you don't want to have a big bump of sand and then of course your alcohol inks Then you're gonna have to add a lot or a flood coat. Okay. All right Let's see what I got. Yeah, please come back and watch it Karen You can go on the search bar and Google um, Bridget Hicks Reese and you'll find all my tutorials. Okay All right, I'm gonna do this one real quick in case a few people have joined us um, I'm wondering we've dropped off quite quite a few uh, If you want to hang out for the glitter, that's fine. Um, I have used UV resin. You have to make sure, y'all, the fast set epoxy is great. Let me tell you something about that real quick, and then I'm, I may let y'all go. We've dropped a lot, but I think I'm going to do the glitter cup. I ain't got nothing else better to do, so I'm going to do a glitter cup. Y'all want to stay with me? That's cool. If not, I still got to do it. It's okay. But let me tell you something about the fast set. You cannot use fast set as a top coat. The vendor specifically says that that is something that is used for the bottom coat a sealer and they've got they've got other stuff y'all they got a sealer epoxy now that, that dries super fast i think it's called quick coat um they've got a lot of different products and i'm not pushing them please don't think that i just really like their product but i do have other products here but this fast set you cannot use as a top coat some people are because it sets up i could do a cup in a day if I wanted to using the fast set, I can still do a cup in a day using the medium viscosity that takes seven hours, but it'll have to spin all night and be ready in the morning. But if you use this, it does not have a UV protectant. Okay? So just keep that. I don't know what that was. Something. Okay. I'm sorry. Something popped up on my screen. And it looked scary. I don't know what that was, but um, I'll certainly go back and look at that later. Um, Fast set cannot be used as a top coat. It is no UV protectant, which means your cups can yellow over time. Um, lots of little issues with that, okay? Now, you're not going to be able to see this cup, so I'm getting ready to shift y'all, okay? I'll use any type. Janelle, I'll use. She's asking what type of epoxy I would use for the top coat. I've used everything. I've used medium viscosity counterculture. I've used amazing clear casts. I've used a lot, and I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this. And I'm really having to bend my stand. Okay, but hopefully you can see that still. I hope everybody's got a good view. Crystal, I'm on the I'm on the ten. Okay. I'm gonna go back and read some of the questions after the tutorial because some of them are a little lengthy and I don't want to give you an answer that's inappropriate because I've read the question wrong. And remember this fast set sets up really fast. I'm gonna do the white streaks in this cup. I'm gonna make it a point to save enough epoxy and work a little faster so that you can see the difference in the two cups if you do do the white epoxy drizzle, okay? All right, so that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> Let me get this mixed up real quick and then we're gonna get going. Now remember, I'm gonna use a glitter for this cup. Some people are using glitter. Some people use like a gold a gold or a real light tan. I've seen different people do different. And y'all, I haven't, I haven't seen an ugly cup yet. I'm just saying they're beautiful. I'm gonna save one of these cups so I can put my white alcohol ink in it. Okay. Wow, really? No idea. It took that many coats. I'm not sure what what conversation has come up, and I may have missed it, guys. But typically on this cup, I'm only gonna do three coats of epoxy to finish. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I did see mention of something, somebody saying 10 coats. If you're using 10 coats of epoxy, that's a whole lot of epoxy. I'm not really sure um, what was going on, but if you need any help, you let me know, or if it was just working for you, that's great. What color white did you mix with the sand? It's called Crystal Diamond, and it came from, oh, Crystalac. Somebody's talking about Crystalac. They had to use 10 coats. Woo! I don't know about all that. That's a lot of money, too. Y'all, epoxy's not cheap. Even Amazing Clear Cast is pricey. So I don't know. Mm, I couldn't do it. Now I've mixed my epoxy. Can't see my little cup. But what I'm doing is putting about five milliliters in this little cup back here that I can do my white drizzle with. Okay? I'm going to hold it up and show you what I'm doing. This will be for the very end. I didn't do it on this cup because it's set up too fast. One, two, three, four, five. That's all I'm going to do. Save my same stick. 
I'm going to put it in here and stir it up so it's ready to go when I'm ready, okay? Doesn't take much alcohol ink, guys, to change the color of your epoxy, okay? So there we go on that. Set that to the side. We'll get to that after we get all our blues on. Let's see what we got going on. Crystallac is very thin. Oh, I didn't know that. See, I've never tried Crystallac. Is it a good product, though? Does it, is it very strong as far as odor? Anybody know anything about it? I'm just curious. Is that alcohol ink in the epoxy? Yes, ma'am, Miss Bennett, Miss Lisa. I have mixed about five drops of alcohol ink in my epoxy because I wanted to tint it. Because I'm going to use it to do... Um, this looks like I'm putting a lot on, but my lines are super thin. I don't know if you can see that in some spaces. Some places it's not. But you can use any type of, y'all, you, you can put glitter in your in your epoxy if you wanted to do that. Um, just be careful not to use too much because it can thicken your epoxy to a point um, that it's difficult to work with, okay? Now, I've got a lot of epoxy on this cup, so I'm just taking some off and putting it back in my cup. So I don't want it to be too thick. Remember, you want a super thin, thin layer of epoxy because the more epoxy you use, the more glitter you're going to use. Your glitter has to appear dry on your cup in order for it to look right in the end, okay? You're in process. I always want to make sure my bottom looks good. Give it some love. Give it some love. All right, let's see. I'm seeing a lot of allergies and stuff. Hey, Sherry, I'm glad you're here. We can only see the end of your cup. All right, I'm going to actually take my glove off here in just a second, and I'm going to see if I can get it moved up a little to where you can see that. Somebody told me once that you can um, tilt your phone sideways. I'm going to try and get y'all there. That's about as good as I can get it, but it'll give you a better view. And I'm hoping that's a little better. I'm going to work on this end first. So I want y'all to see the glitter side of things. And then we'll move up when we do the inks. Okay? Alright. So I'm going to do some popping of the bubbles. Remember, these kind of come to the surface on their own. This product's amazing. I don't want to get it too hot. But I do want to pop the bubbles. Kind of make sure I've got a good, good smear. When you heat it up a little bit, it kind of lets you know if you've got some bald spots in there. You don't have to worry so much about micro bubbles because we're covering it. But, of course, the bigger bubbles, you definitely want to pop. Okay, you'll see them. Barbara, if you missed the beginning, when this is over and happy birthday to your granddaughter or, or soon, you can go back in the search bar at the top of the page and you can um, search. You can just type in tutorials. But if you want to see this one, type in Bridget Hicks Reese and it'll take you to some tutorials I've done. Okay? Okay. Now, this is the glitter I'm going to use for my sand. I think it's a little bit too yellow, but they asked for a very yellow sand. I'm not sure what beach they've been to, but that's just what they wanted. So, this is what they're going to get. This is actually a Chunky Mix. Um, this came from Walmart. I don't know if y'all know that, but Walmart is making Chunky Mixes now. And at the time, I've got some beautiful glitter over here, but I have to save it because i got some Honey Bee Hive cups I have to do. But, like, this was a new Chunky Mix they have, y'all. This is called Snowy Surprise. But they're kind of pretty. I don't use them all the time because I've got some really good glitters over here. But this particular man wanted this glitter. So, we're going to give it to him, okay? My heat gun burn up and I use a blow dryer. Yes, ma'am, blow dryers. I started out using a torch. And um, I still probably would. But what happened to me was... It ran out right in the middle of my cup, and I needed it. I needed heat so bad, and I had no butane. I couldn't find the butane. I'm in the kitchen. I don't know where it was in this kitchen. And I wound up running to the bathroom and getting the hair dryer. And, of course, you know, good old Faithful, um, she came through for me, thank goodness. So, you use what works best for you. My heat gun, actually, the one I'm using today is an embossing gun. I used to do a lot of stamping before I got into tumblers. But I also have a Dewalt heat gun that I stole from my husband because y'all know I'm infamous for stealing stuff from my husband I get my sandpaper from him my gloves from him he came in here one day and I had his duct tape he was like why is my duct tape on the kitchen table I said I needed it for a cup now don't ask me what I was doing with it I was doing one of them cups talking about you, you can fix anything with duct tape and you put a piece of duct tape on it it was really cute so anyway I want to get through this glitter real quick 
I'm making sure my line is semi-straight. It doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, the beach isn't perfect. But I've gone a little bit higher up on this cup than I really wanted to, so now i got to make it a little even. Okay. All right, that's about all I'm going to do on that, but I do have to do the bottom. Now, something funny about glitters, especially chunky mixes. I'm going to talk to you all about this while I'm pulling this paper out without knocking everything off the table or touching my other cup. I usually don't work in this confined of a area, but I wanted to have all my working ingredients right here in front of me. Um, chunky mixes, there's a trick to chunky mixes. If you do not pat your chunky mix glitter down, you're going to have chunky glitter sticking through your epoxy later, okay? All I'm doing now, you probably aren't going to be able to see because the camera's the way it's in. But I'm tapping the paper like this to the bottom of my cup and letting it shake to the bottom of the cup. Everybody has a trick for the bottom of their cup if you do decorate the bottoms of your cups. This just seems to work perfect for me. It always has done good. I used to take my cups off the stick. I talked about that earlier and I would just dip the cup in the glitter. But this covers very nicely. Okay, so I'm done. I'm done with that part, okay? So now I've got my glitter. And I'm gonna, I don't know, just take him back in there. I'm almost done, Miss Bella. You're doing a superb job. My girl is doing a superb job. The glitter is really pretty. I was shocked, y'all. Can you do a tutorial on a bee cup? Yes, ma'am. I had promised somebody that I'm going to do a fabric tumbler. I'm kind of putting it off a little bit because I don't do many fabric tumblers. And I don't want there to be a mess. I am here. You just can't see me because I watch. When I open it, I can't see the cup. So I have to watch it kind of like I'm scrolling through the page. I am sorry, Sherry. I hope you can see it now. I hope I've moved it enough. All right, I'm going to move it to the top. Y'all have seen the glitter side, and this way you can see the alcohol, because I don't know exactly what y'all can see, okay? I'm moving it. Y'all don't look at my tumbler. There, you can see a little bit better. and still see the glitter, okay? I'll give y'all a little. I don't want to give you any glare, though. See, if I move the light, y'all get too much glare. So I'm going to do the same thing. Started about the third of the cup, and I did not do what I normally do, and you can see the difference. See how that alcohol ink doesn't move very well I want to go ahead and heat this up a little bit I took a little bit of time doing the glitter so I just want to heat this don't want to scorch it don't want to get it too hot but I literally want to warm it up so that the alcohol inks move a little better okay now watch the difference in the next drop so I'm gonna drop some more now this one really ran and that's what I want it to do I want it to kind of go around the cup See how much more that streaks around? So if you get, he'll have to take that in there. They won't be able to hear over that. They're all thirsty. I know. They'll, they can, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. I'm sorry, guys. You know I've reached the limit. It's lunchtime. So everybody's getting, everybody's getting a little rowdy. But we're going to make through this. All right, next I'm going to use that Lake Blue. And this is a Bria Reese alcohol ink. Okay. You got the gold at Walmart. Can you tell me what colors you're using again? The first is a pinata sapphire blue. And you can pick your colors. You don't have to use the same colors. These colors do work really well together. I'm dropping these colors kind of every you want a little bit of transition at the top. You know, you don't want it to all be one color. But that's about all I'm gonna do with that because this will run. But this is a Bria Reese Lake Blue. When this tutorial is over, I do go back at the very top and edit, okay? And I'll let you know exactly what colors I use, what epoxy I use, where you can get it, um, the glitter. Whatever I use in a tutorial, I try to go back and list. And I do want to let you know if you've asked questions, I'm going to try desperately to answer your questions. But Facebook has been kicking me off because I like too many posts and I make too many comments. And I don't know why they're doing that. I haven't figured out yet confusing to me this here is a ranger ink it's called an alcohol pearl and it's called tranquil and speaking of that i'm going to show y'all something else before we do cut off of here y'all make sure when you're buying your inks if you're new at this that you're buying alcohol inks and i can hold it up here in a second i'm going to show you something i went the other it's been about a month ago i was in hobby lobby and they had this big clearance aisle. I don't know if you have a Hobby Lobby that has a clearance aisle. And they had these things. Y'all, I went crazy. They had a ton of alcohol inks, I thought. 
in a big pack, and they were like a dollar a piece. So I grabbed every freaking stinking one of them, and got them home, didn't even look, just assumed that it was the good stuff. Now I'm going to put on the pinata white while I'm talking. Got it home, y'all, and it is a watercolor ink. They do make watercolor ink in the exact same bottles as the real inks, but this one's a watercolor. See at the top? If you put this on a cup with epoxy, it's going to repel off just like water. It does not work. They won't work. I haven't found anything they work for. They're probably good for some type of craft, but not for cups. So make sure you're buying alcohol ink. I made that mistake. Now I've got like 20 bottles of watercolor ink and i got to find some way to use them. And I don't know how to use them. So if anybody has any suggestions, let me know, okay? Alright. That's about all the white I'm going to do. Put my cap back on. I want to stir this epoxy that I made for the drizzle to make sure it's not getting hot yet. I'm kind of checking it to see how much more working time I have on this. You can also feel the cup sometimes. And you can feel the heat radiate off. So I'm going to give this some, some nice heat. I want to get a good swirl going. I want to make the water look good. That pearl is going to give it some shimmer. It's really, really nice. Just kind of gives you a little bit of a transition color. Makes it shimmer a little bit the way water does. It's really pretty. Now this cup has a few fish eyes in it, guys. Normally, fish eyes usually means not enough epoxy or you had something on your cup. Fingerprint, dust, dirt, something. I got one here. I got one coming around right here. And a huge one right there. Super dry. Super dry. So before I get this swirling too much, I'm going to see if I can fix that big one. The way I would fix it, I got a dot right here at the top of my rim that's not covered either. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some ink. And I'm going to wait for this big one to come around. Y'all fix it. See, it's huge. What has happened is it's dried off. If you were closer, you could see there's no alcohol ink in that. I mean, excuse me, no epoxy in that little bitty hole right there. So I'm going to see if I can fix it. I'm not sure that I'll be able to. Okay. So we're going to see what happens. It, did, it actually covered it. So I'm going to add a little more there and hope that that runs. So there was my spot. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit more heat before all this sets up on me. And then we're going to add that white drizzle so you can see what it does to the wave look. Okay. It gives you some distant waves. So I've still got a big spot that's going to come back where I just added. It's coming around right now. And I'll be able to hit it one time. See it? Maybe with some inks and see if I can fix it. Let's get this rolling. Could be that I'm getting it too hot with this heat gun. If you can't fix it with inks, you can use your white drizzle. Okay? So don't let that discourage you. I'm going to start blowing up my white and make my foam. It's kind of like the waves crashing into the ocean or crashing into the shore. All right, this stuff is starting to set up pretty fast. Now, I talked about getting your cup too hot. Let me show you something else with fast set. Let me see if it'll sh if it'll start working. Got to give it a second. This is important because I want somebody to see, and it may take a minute. We'll set it right here where you can see it. It'll start in a minute. There it goes. Can anybody see this cup? I'm gonna slide it over a little bit. Cup's hot. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, you can't see it. This cup is extremely hot. It's a normal reaction for all epoxy to get warm. But because it's a fast set, it gets warmer a lot faster. And in a minute, just in the time that we have done this cup, I'm going to show you what it's done, okay? I'm going to get this on there for this cup gets too um, set to do this. Heat it up a little bit because you're not going to heat it anymore. You don't want to do it much. I just want to get it warm where it's spinning a little bit. Not by much. Because I'm going to add the drizzle that are going to kind of make the distant waves. And then I'm going to see if I can fix these two spots that I've got by using this drizzle, okay? I'm going to start with any defected spots I've got. And see, this stuff's getting thick already, guys. Just kind of streak into your ocean, okay? Doesn't really matter the placement. If you've got any defects that you want to try and fix, this would be a good time to hit those with this epoxy. 
but this epoxy is getting a little firm so I don't want to do too much to where it ruins my cup okay now because that cup is hot these lines are going to start spreading and going through the through the colors and you'll see it change a little bit but I'm not adding much more of this it's a little bit getting too stiff that's the one thing and there's the smell again so I want you to know it does have a smell when it starts to scent but it's not to where it kills you okay this is the epoxy that I put on this cup before I well before I did the glitter and I want to show y'all I'm not gonna be able to get it out of the cup it broke my stick I'm gonna see if I can get it in there that is hard as a rock I'm squeezing as hard as I can okay that's already set up okay so that means my cup is pretty much close to where it's going to be. Don't really like that streak. But see how some of these lines have started to melt into the ocean? You're not going to have everything be perfect all the time. Um, I do have a couple pops. I call them pops. I don't really know what they're called. But you can try very, very minimal. This is a white streak from the epoxy. This might be a cup that I'll keep or it might be a cup that I'll wind up stripping. But what I'm going to do is I got a big fish eye right here. It's what I call them. And I'm going to try and drop one drop of alcohol ink on it and see if I can fix it. You don't want to add too much ink. It can mess up your cup. I just want to see how that worked. And it's coming around and it's covered. You're going to see it right here. That's where it starts. Okay. All right, guys. So that's our cup. The only thing I did not show you and I'm going to show you now. I'm going to turn you back down here just a hair. Okay. Now, chunky glitter. It sticks up, right? Sometimes sticks through your second or third layer. If you go through here and pat real lightly and flatten most of this chunky glitter down, I promise you, you're going to do very minimal sanding, if any. And your cup will do much better with just those two or three layers. On the bottom, especially on the corners or the edges right here, I usually tap it back up so it goes back to the cup itself because that's where you have your worst um, scenarios is right there on the rim okay now let me tell you one more thing and we can talk about this briefly and then I can explain to it if you need more in-depth explaining if you get done with this this will be set in an hour I'll do a second layer of sand on this um, and let it sit but then I'm ready to do my next layer I'm gonna turn y'all back up here okay I don't know why I feel like I'm ducking. You're going to do your next layer of epoxy because this is kind of ripply. You need to have a smooth surface to do your vinyl, okay? After you do your second coat of epoxy to where you can vinyl or do anything that you want to put on the cup, and you do the light sanding with like a, probably a one, I'm trying to think of the numbers, probably a 220 or a 180, you would lightly sand any of your glitter. Y'all know how epoxy does it take sometimes at the very bottom rim. I'm going to pull this cup so I can show you. Right here, sometimes your epoxy doesn't take. So if you go sanding on that without epoxy on it, you're going to lose your shimmer of your glitter, possibly lose your sand product that you have on it. So just be real careful, okay, when you're sanding. Somebody's asking how the tattoo cup turned out. It's amazing. If y'all got a second, I'll grab it. Bella. Look in the blue cooler right there in front of the fish tank and hand me that pink cup and the white cup that has the skulls on it. I'm going to show you all these two tattoo tumblers that we did, okay? I am sorry you got here late. Is it dye? You can go back and watch these um, tutorials. Just search, go in the search bar, okay? These inks are all different kinds. I have Pinata, Ranger, and Bria Reese. So... Yep, and then there's a white one in there that has skulls on it. Can you get that one? So this was a tattoo tumbler. This is a temporary tattoo. Okay. And I took and used a hot pink glitter. Did a coat of epoxy to make it smooth so that the tattoo would sit. And then I went and applied. This is where the name's going to go. And this was the back side. Okay. I did a tutorial on those two. And then Miss Bella is amazing. Y'all, this was the Geisha Glimmer Glitter. This glitter is beautiful, and if y'all have not looked her webpage up, you need to. She's given us a coupon code for a discount, okay? And this was the tattoo, uh, temporary tattoo I did on that one. My son has clock tattoos. 
So I took that with the flower that I have. I have some tattoos too. So I kind of made this cup for me and him. But this is a beautiful glitter. Okay. So, all right, guys, I am so glad y'all hung out with me. I've had a great afternoon. It's time to feed these babies. They actually have been really, really, really good. I'm surprised. One-year-old hasn't swam in the dog water yet. Miss Bella's been my, my hero again, y'all. Y'all, um, the glitter, I'm not sure which glitter, Shelly, you're asking about. This glitter on the ta uh, temporary tattoo cup is GeishaGlimmer.com. She's at the very top of our page right now. She became a preferred vendor as of yesterday, and she's given us a coupon code for all the members of Tumblers or Us, or Tumblers Ask All You Like. I don't know where. I'm thinking of Babies or Us or Toys or Us. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, guys. How long do you have to set it with epoxy? How long do you have to set it with epoxy? Joanne, I'm not real sure what you're asking. If you're using the fast set, this is going to be ready in an hour for me to do whatever I want to do to it. Whether it's add the second layer or I'm going to add the top coat so I can apply my glitter. I mean my vinyl. On this cup, this cup has glitter. Then it had another top coat to make it smooth so that I can put my temporary tattoo on top. And then I let it sit till it's dry not like a water slide so don't think you can just pop them on there okay i'm so glad y'all joined me i'm going to eat i'm going to feed these babies i'm going to the craft store so y'all have a great afternoon i'll catch y'all later bye